Hello my friends, this is Alien Contact D, Lenol Anderson here with you guys with a brand new YouTube bit shoot video. In today's video, okay, uh, I got a message from the Palladians. Uh, and we gotta set the record straight on something. Because I don't want to say they're getting pissed off, because you know that's not a vibration they adhere to. But let's just say they're not happy or uh, not impressed about a little certain thing that's been going on in the truth communities these days. And they don't blame anybody because they know there's a lot of lies out there, a lot of disinformations, misinformations out there. So they understand people not trusting anyone and uh, being confused about the topic. But we need to address this whole situation of space, planets, stars, all that. Because, of course, you know, there's multiple psyops going on. Whether you believe in the uh, Globe Earth PSYOP, which is pushed by the mainstream and NASA. But never forget that the Flat Earth is a PSYOP as well, okay? Being pushed by certain uh, intelligence agencies that's infiltrated the truth movement, okay? So what is the truth, okay? What's the truth of this realm, but what's the truth of planets? It's space fake, right? Because that's what you hear a lot. People say, aliens aren't real, space is fake, this and that. Well, guess what? Palladians want to set that straight. I want to set that straight with you today. So let's just do that right now. Just going to encourage you guys, if you like today's video, hit that subscribe button. And also smash the like button. Helps whole line out with the algorithms. Now let's just get right into it. All right, so what it comes down to, in case you guys haven't figured it out yet, but I'm pretty sure everybody watching my channel, for the most part, at least my subscribers know, uh, it's bloody obvious we're, we're within a simulation by now, okay? Uh, science, uh, quantum physics and all that has already been proving it, okay? Uh, there's so much evidence and proof that this is a simulation. It's overwhelming. We are within a realm, okay? It's a holographic projection of consciousness. It's like a freaking video game, okay? A computer program. That's the true nature of this realm. So is the Earth round? No. Is it flat? Not really. It's decoding of information that we're seeing, just like how if you're in a video game and your video game character's walking and things are being decoded all around it, it's the same thing that's going on with us. It's a realm, okay, for our spirit. It's like a highly advanced video game for our spirit, okay? So I've already went over that in videos and shown evidence of all that in a video about the truth about the shape of the earth that the play is revealed. That's right, I'll leave a link to that down below in the comment section. That That's not what today's video is on, okay? I just need to establish that point of what this realm is. We're talking about the stars, planets, okay? Because so many people, I see it every day, they want to start these arguments and fights saying space is fake, there's no such thing as planets, there's no such thing as this and that. They want to get all upset saying there's no such thing as solar flares coming from the sun, and that it's this and that, it's herp, it's everything like that. Okay, my friends... Let me just settle the record right now with you guys. And this was all channeled by the Palladians communications from them to you, okay? Planets are real, but they're not what you think they are. And yes, we've touched on this in videos before, but we're really going to go deep today uh, with what the truth of our reality is. What you got to realize are planets, okay, stars, all that, they are portals, okay? That's what they are. We are within a construct, a multi-dimensional construct. And of course here we are in the third dimension, but there are actually other dimensions at the same time that are within the construct, whether it's the fourth, fifth, right? Uh, however, outside of the construct goes directly into the spirit realms into much higher dimensions, okay? And other realms outside of the simulation. So all the planets that you see, they are celestial bodies, okay? They are also energetic points that affect this reality, but they also work as portals to other realms. So when people say, Palladians aren't real, aliens aren't real, space is fake, uh, okay, the Pleiades star contellect, okay? You got the little planets there. 
Well, if the Palladians want to enter this realm, they usually come out of there, out of portals, through stargates. They're not coming from some physical planet like how the movies want you to think, in spaceships. No, no, it's called stargates, portals. Okay? That's the way it works. And that's the same with the moon, the sun, all the planets, and even the stars. We come from the stars, my friends. So I got a couple of videos to show you guys. The first one is Santos Bonacci talking about this concept. And the second one, this guy claims to be the Mahdi, which is uh, in Islam, the reincarnation of Muhammad. He says he's the savior. I, I don't really uh, believe him all that much about that. But regardless, uh, he's got some very interesting content, some very interesting things to contribute. So, so I would take a listen to what he has to say. Take a look. All of the seven planets are entirely luminous. They are portals. They are holes in the sky. The great Italian genius Pierluigi Ghina, he studied the sun and energy. Up until the day he died, you see him on YouTube, a little Italian man saying, La terra è ferma. He says, me and Marconi discovered that the earth is stationary. It doesn't move. He said the stars are holes in the sky. They are holy holes. We're all stars, all right? Young children we call youngsters. Our sisters we call spinsters. Good people we call masters. Bad people we call fraudsters, gangsters and mobsters. Religious people, ministers and pastors. Cool people in Hollywood we call rock stars, movie stars, superstars. Stars. So we know we come from them. And we're stardust and we're going back to the stars. But they are lights in the firmament and they are actually holes which are portals, wormholes. The sun is the main wormhole. If you knew that the material model is wrong and the atomic model is wrong, you would be totally, totally free from all of their mind control programs because you would know that you come from the transcendent power. Everything comes from what is not seen. The Bible says that. We know that everything that is seen comes from what is not seen. It's reversed. The planets that are in the skies are the souls. There's a connection between the stars and between the Earth. The Earth is a place where the rays of the stars are able to enter into human beings that are born and animate them. And that is the entrance of the soul into the body. The Earth is a realm where the stars are able to take on avatars <laughs> so that they can mingle with one another and have a human experience whereby they forget who they were and their origin uh, for a, a lifetime. It reminds us of the verse of the Quran that says that every self has a guardian above it. And so there is this connection uh, that is made between the people of the earth and the stars above. There are stars that correlate with every single uh, person that's on the earth. And you have uh, the uh, planet Earth uh, that we are uh, currently uh, residing on. And this also uh, is the soul and it is the soul of the uh, prophet Adam, uh, who uh, we all reside on and uh, we're having this experience on currently. We have also in, in uh, modern culture, we have uh, Mark Twain, a particular author, uh, he had also been born when a certain comet appeared in the sky. And he believed that once that comet came back again, uh, he would leave this world. He said, I entered in with this comet appearing and I will exit with this comet appearing. Uh, and that's exactly what happened is that uh, his death date took place on the same date that that same comet passed by again, uh, the one that passed by when he uh, came into this world. There you have it, my friends. Okay? So you see what their points of reference was there, correct? And I'd have to agree with them. As Santos is saying, uh, these are the portals. And that's why star is incorporated everywhere. Sister. All that all the things that Santos mentioned, right? Mr. Sister. It's all star at the end. Even that uh Lester Crowley guy said that we are all stars. Many people who knew what was going on said that. And then you got that Mod A guy who claims to be the Mod A, made some very interesting points though, didn't he? 
about that's where the spirit, the soul comes from. And we come through, it's like a portal to these higher dimensions. And then we come through there to have a human experience. Okay, we come through the construct. It's it's true. It's all local. Okay, it's all within the construct. Portals inside, outside the construct. What NASA is telling you is a bunch of crap. Oh, 90 million miles, miles away the sun. No, no, it's all local. But they're all portals. And it was interesting that Santos uh, started talking about uh, at the end there how we're all stardust. So I'm going to show you scientific evidence that we come from stardust. And then we're going to look at the spiritual meaning to that. Before we do, just want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors at Oweli. This is a great pro product, my friends. Ten different kinds of mushrooms. And no, they're not the magical kind. They are medicinal, legal mushrooms. They don't get you high, but what they do do is give you a burst of energy. I take them every morning. It's like taking a bunch of coffees, except for without the come down. It's going to be great for detoxification, boosting the immune system, and also opening up your third eye. They have spiritual side effects as well. They help open the pineal gland and all that. They, they're absolutely wonderful, my friends. Great for so many different uh, things, mental health, you name it. So the link to that is down below at Oweli. Best supplements around, organic. And I'll tell you what, you use the code Lionel. That's L-I-N-O-L-777. It'll all be down below. Uh, you use that code, it'll get you 15% off and free shipping in the United States. Okay, link is down below. Check it out. Now, back to the video. So, did you know that mainstream science uh, tells us we're from stardust? And remember, when you hear stuff from mainstream science and NASA and all that, don't automatically discredit it totally because you see what the enemy does is they always tell you the truth but mix it in with disinformation. So if you listen to what they say and then do your own research on other topics and pick, uh, you could piece together what's true and what isn't, okay? So let's see uh, what uh, the mainstream narrative about us coming from Stardust has to say. Take a look. Have you ever heard of people sometimes saying, hey, we're made of stardust? And you're probably like, what are you talking about? Well, let me break that down for you. See, everything around us, including our bodies, is made up of tiny things called atoms. These atoms come in different types or elements like oxygen, carbon, and iron. A long time ago, in space, there were giant balls of gas called stars. Now, these stars are very hot and bright and they make energy by squishing atoms together to make new ones. This is called nuclear fusion. When the stars get really old, they explode, and all the atoms they made are scattered into space. Some of those atoms end up in new stars and planets just like our own. So in a way, the atoms in our bodies came from the explosion of stars that lived and died a long time ago. There you have it, my friends. We are all come from the atoms, which comes from the stairs, right? And now if we look at the spiritual concepts with that Made guy I was talking about and Santos Panetti, and we realize that that's where spirit is, which is infinite awareness, consciousness, and uh, spirit, right? If this is the truth, because if you think about it, all energy, all it's all comes from that one same consciousness that exists. There's only one consciousness or awareness that exists, which people like to call God. And I know I've said this many times, but I'll say it again for the sake of this video. Only one consciousness that's ever existed, which some people call God, creator, source, got bored, broke itself off into an infinite amount of divine sparks to go out and experience separateness, you know, separation and have experiences. That's what's going on here. But we are all connected and we all belong to that one source God consciousness, okay? So if we all belong to these atoms, that would make uh, all of us connected, all of us one, correct? I have a very cool video to show you on that topic, uh, more of the spiritual aspect of us being stardust. Take a look. If it's true that we're all from the center of a star, every atom in each of us from the center of a star, then we're all the same thing. Even a Coke machine or a cigarette butt in the street in Buffalo is made out of atoms that came from a star. They've all been recycled thousands of times, as have you and I. And therefore, it's only me out there. 
So what is there to be afraid of? What is there that needs solace seeking? Nothing. There's nothing to be afraid of because it's all us. The trouble is we have been separated by being born and given a name and an identity and being individuated. We've been separated from the oneness and that's what religion exploits, that people have this yearning to be part of the overall one again. So they exploit that. They call it God. They There you go. Very interesting uh, insights there. And uh, that, my friends, at the end of the day, is the truth. And that's what I channeled the Pleiadians. They want me to tell you guys that uh, some of y'all, not all, but some of y'all got to simmer down a bit because you take things too far sometimes, you know, like with this whole flatter thing. They want you to think, oh, there's a big uh, dome over the earth. A glass dome or an ice wall, my friends. We are contained, that's for sure. But it's not a big freaking glass dome or or a ice wall or anything. We are in a simulation, a holographic simulation. It's a frequency bandwidth, okay? It's a frequency bandwidth. That's why we can't get out. We got to be at a certain frequency to get out of this simulation. That's why people have been stuck in the reincarnation soul trap. But it's not some physical dome, okay? It's a frequency bandwidth. We are multidimensional beings, and once you start the ascension process, you'll get lighter. And yeah, you'll even be able to fly. You'll be able to fly yourself right over the dome once you go into the spirit realms, right? And it is true. A lot of these negative beings uh, who are on Earth here with us, uh, they are contained in here as well and can't get out. Uh, a lot of these beings in the lower astral fourth dimension, the reptilians, archons, they've been contained so they can't get out here and cause more trouble. And even the elites of the world here, they're stuck right here with us as well. Does that mean that it's only good beings outside the construct? No, I'm sorry to break it to you, but there are negative beings outside the construct too. There's negative beings that go up the dimensions as well to a certain point. And then at a certain point, they stop, and then it's only the good beings. But it goes beyond this construct, I'm sorry to say. However, uh, a lot of these beings who are coming in through the construct, through the Stargates portals, are good beings here to help us. They're sending in good energies as well. Uh, that's why a lot of people are having awakening, ascension-type symptoms. But obviously, there is the enemy as well who acts through stargates and portals, such as through Saturn, who are sending in negative frequencies and vibrations as well. We are in a war. Never forget, my friends, we are in an interdimensional galactic war between interdimensional uh, alien beings who, uh, let's just put it this way, reality is not what you think it is. It goes deep. And we are in the process of awakening to what that reality really is, why we're here, and pretty much a lot of us are volunteers here to help others awaken and escape this realm. This is a hell realm uh, orchestrated by the Demiurge to harvest your low vibrational energy, end of the day. But you can make it heaven on earth if you cut off the Demiurge's food supply and share your high vibrational awareness with others. We could hopefully someday affect the collective and shut this place down once and for all. And then the dome, a.k.a. the frequency net, that's why they call it a planet, right? A planet, well, it's a plane of existence, but there's also the net in the word. That's because it's a frequency bandwidth barrier net that's over top of us. That's because there's some dangerous beings here. We need to defeat those beings and terraform this planet back to how it originally was before it got the net put over it and got quarantined and we got to turn it into a good place once again and then that'll eventually disappear the grid will get shut down but that can only happen once humanity wakes up so time to wake up my friends don't be closed-minded just because you watch a few flat earth videos and every time you hear anybody talk about different planets hey, hey you believe in the globe well a lot do but a lot don't we could still talk about planets and stars and not be globe earthers it just means some people understand what it really is just because uh, nasa told you some lies don't let that keep you from the truth that's what the flat earth psyop has done they made people not believe in any of it even the other explanations 
because they don't want you knowing the truth. So, oh, you figured out the NASA lie, so now you're going to believe the flat earth lie. It goes deep, my friends. There's some truth to everything that you were told. You just got to see through the lies and the deceptions, okay? That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button. As I say, subscribe to survive. I'm on Patreon, exclusive content you don't get anywhere else. Link to that is down below in comment sec uh, or in the description, okay? Got the Scent 5D class, health class, occult class, free trial right now with that. Check it out, yeah? Or if you'd like to simply buy old Lionel coffee for my efforts, your support means the world, helps me do what I do, and of course I'll send you free Patreon videos as a thank you. means the most to me if you just hit the like button and leave a comment, though. Let me know what you think of today's video. That's it for today. Until next time, Lionel signing off.